The very first photographs that were taken to get the cover for Abbey Road were taken by Ian McMillan, a photographer that the Beatles knew and trusted. And what was required in the composition is that their legs had to be in an inverted V formation, perfect. No bent knees, no people looking away, a clean composition. Ian knew he got the shot. The two things that he felt most proud about in that shoot is one, that it took him 20 minutes to get the shot. And two, he got it in six tries. Having chosen one of the pictures that Ian McMillan, the late lovely Ian McMillan took of the Abbey Road session as art director, I was dealing with record labels and the creative directors and you do not have to announce who they are anymore. You just had to present their images. You get to a point where the artists don't even need to be mentioned. You can get away with not putting anything on the cover and that stands alone. So I had deliberately not put the name The Beatles on the cover. I got a phone call at 2 a.m. in the morning from the head of EMI Records, which is the parent company for Apple and whatever else, telling me that I had ruined the Beatles and they would never sell an album. He had that wonderful sort of English sort of upper-class accent, you know. So when he calls me, you know that you're in trouble. I'm now very, very scared and very frightened because I've now ruined the Beatles. I had to go to Apple next morning and I went in there at 10 o'clock and George Harrison was actually there. And I said to George, look, you know, I got a call from Sir Joe. What am I going to do? And George looked at me very nicely and got that grin, you know, wonderful grin that he had and said, well, we're the Beatles. <laughs> and everything then was like, you know, rainbows and unicorns. <laughs>